heard the words of this song. I can hear it sung. It was lit, written by Charles Wesley, and also that Samuel Wesley, who was, I believe, his father, on the title, so I don't know if it's between the, both of them. But it says, O thou that camest from above, the pure celestial fire to impart, kindle a flame of sacred love on the mean altar of my heart. There let it for thy glory burn with an indistinguishable blaze and trembling to its source return mm -hmm. in humble love and fervent praise. Yes. Jesus confirm my heart's desire to work and speak and think for thee. Still, let me guard the holy fire and stir up the gift that's in me. Amen. Yes. Ready for all thy perfect will. Amen. My act of faith and love repeat. Till death thy endless mercy seal and yes. make the sacrifice complete. Amen. Yes. I was really blessed by this song. Yes, sir. Let a, a fire be kindled of sacred love yes. in our hearts. Let it burn for thy glory with an inextinguishable blaze that it can't be put out. Amen. And trembling to the source, return. Yes. So there be a fire, get direct connection from this yes. fire. Amen. In humble Amen. love and fervent praise. Yes, brother. Oh, Jesus, confirm my heart's desire to work and speak for Thee. Yes. Listen, still, let me guard the holy fire Amen. and stir the gift in me, yes. ready for all Thy perfect will. My acts of faith and love repeat till death and endless mercy seal and make the sacrifice complete. Amen. Yes. I think about our lives on this earth. We're a sacrifice, a living sacrifice for God, but we're more than a living sacrifice for God. We're a burning, fiery sacrifice Amen. for God. Yes. And let our fire not yes. be extinguished yes. until the, in, the, in eternity, but let us finish our course here and go Amen. on into eternity and our sacrifice of our lives complete. Amen. Oh, that's glorious. That, that, that's a wonderful thing to, to have God in our sacrifice complete. Yes. Amen. Let's turn to Leviticus chapter 6. We ask you to pray. We amen. feel like we have a good message from the amen. Lord. We, yes, amen. We're trusting the Lord to, to bless it. Yes. Yes, we realize that it takes God and His Holy Spirit to, yes. to make, make anything work out. Amen. I want to say God is a consuming fire. Yes. I want yes. uh, God is a, in the burning bush, a Shekinah glory. Yes. If you look at the book of Revelation, in its smallest common denominator, it's a restoration of fire. Everywhere you see is fire. And that if, if there's a restoration that's needed, is a fire in the souls of men. Yes. All right. A Holy Ghost fire. Amen. Without fire, there's no advancement in the work of God. Without fire, there's no advancement in your individual soul's experience. If there isn't the fire of God. Yes. As I said before, people want to see a fire. We, we yes. see the destruction Amen. that's going on in the U.S. right now. They're setting fires, false fires. But, but I'll tell you, when you're a fiery people, when God can get a hold of you and yes. you have the fire of God working in you, 
God will use you. Uh, uh, I, I was reminded by Sister Much that Brother Lane said uh, we'd have much better services if we come to service ready yes, to have amen. a good service right. in God. Uh, uh, we need right. God. If we don't have God, we're nothing. If, if we don't have the Spirit of amen. God, let's give up and go home and end it all. But we have to have amen. God in yes. our lives and in our experiences. In a real way. He's not a distant God. He's yes. a God nearby. Yes, amen. Right. Yes. Leviticus chapter 6. Oh, do I want to be a fire for God. Amen. We're going to start at verse 8. I'll read the first. We're going to stop the verse 13. The Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Command Aaron and his sons. Say it with your hearts. Saying, This is the law of the burnt offering. It is the burnt offering because of the burning upon the altar all night unto the morning. And the fire of the altar shall be burning in it. And the priest shall put on his linen garments and his linen breeches, and he shall put on his flesh and take up the ashes which the fire have consumed with the burnt offering on the altar, and he shall put them beside the altar. And he shall put off his garments, and put on other garments, and carry forth the ashes without the camp unto a clean place. And the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it. It shall not be put out, right. and the priest shall burn wood on it every morning, and lay the burnt offering in order upon it, and he shall burn therein the fat of the peace offering. The fire shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. Amen. Right. Praise the Lord. We are the keepers of the fire. Yes. Yes. We are the keepers of the fire. God sent down a fire into our souls. And now we must be the keeper of the fire in our soul. Yes. This fire that we're speaking of here was started by a divine act of God. God sent down the fire. And God and every one who's saved. Whenever God moves, yes. there's always fire. There's always the Holy Ghost with fire. There's always a stirring of God, uh, 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 and we'll understand what this fire means as we go along. But oh, someone one time said, "When I was young, uh, don't rust out, uh, 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 burn out. Be fiery yes. for God. Uh, 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 yes. Do something for God with with, with enthusiasm, Amen. with yes. with a, with a real zeal right. uh, of holiness." Uh, yes. uh, uh, I want to say this fire, though God sent it. The priest had to tend to the fire day and night. Right. They had to keep it burning yes. and going because yes. it was a sacrifice to God. Yes. Yes. I've read some old history books on Ireland and it was a custom to keep the fire burning. And I think other places, I, I remember reading a few times where I, I believe they kept the fire in the home going for a hundred years and that was something that was looked upon it as good. I, I want to say that God started a fire in your heart yes, that's when good. you got saved. Yes, that's, that's and true. And God's looking for that fire to not be extinguished, but rather multiplied yes. and increased. Amen. God wants us to be a stirred up people yes, for God. Amen. God wants the glory in our souls. It, 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 so the sacrifice, the first fire came down from heaven. And we're going to get more particular in a little bit. But I just want to get an understanding and lay a little, little foundation here. Amen. Leviticus 9, I think we're in holy territory. I think we're going to the heart of God. Mm -hmm. 
Leviticus 23 and 24. And Moses and Aaron went into the tabernacle of the congregation and came out and blessed the people. And the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the people. And there came a fire out from before the Lord and consumed upon the altar the burnt offering and the fat, which all the people saw, they shouted and fell on their faces. God sent down such a fire, such a mighty fire, that all the people yes. fell on their faces mm -hmm. in awe, yes. in a holy reverence, in the glory of God. And we need meetings like this. Yes. They had yes. set everything in place. And then God came down and manifested himself. Amen. Yes. And this was, in Leviticus, is a type of shadow of things to come. So in our day, if this happened back then, how much more? Yes. There's times when we should have meetings yes. where the glory of God Amen. is so Amen. present Amen. that we fall on our faces and worship God in holy awe, in holy reverence, in yes. divine influence by God. Yes. Uh, uh, God is the wonder of it all. God is our hope, our glory. God is everything to the saints. This fire is purifying fire. This fire will get a hold of a soul and change the whole world. If God can set this yes. ablaze right. in our hearts, uh, uh, God can conquer the world. It's not big planning. It's not great programs. But it's the saints yes. having the glory Amen. and the fire of God down in their souls. Fire that we have today. The opportunity to have this fire in our souls is amazing. It's amazing. The fire was used time and time again whenever the Lord wanted to do a work. He'd send a fire. Mm -hmm. when, 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 when Solomon was doing the offering and he had thousands, I forget how many animals to sacrifice, God sent a holy fire down and consumed all their sacrifices. Yes. And so what God really needs from us in order for us to have this fire is a sacrificial life. When God sees that our lives are sacrificial and we're willing to do anything for God, God will send down the fire. Amen. Amen. It, it, it will kindle in us and amongst us and around us and purge us and make us holy, make us zealous, make us uh, yes, uh, with devout affections towards God. It will burn up all unholiness. Yes. We need God in our devotional Amen. lives. Amen. We need God in our services. We need the holy zeal that Christ died that we could have. Oh, the sacrificial yes, fire yes. that's ours. If we will obey God, it will be in line with God. Yeah. God has a fire. God yes. has a fire for us to burn in our souls. Yes. Yes. Oh, God, help us to get a hold of it. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Fire in your soul yes. means God's, God's gracious acceptance of your life. Yes. For God to send the Holy Ghost and, and send the fire with it in your soul is a witness yes. of yes. God's acceptance of your sacrifice. I think of the day of Pentecost, fire fell down on those 120 and 3,000 God yes. saved. Yes. They had it corporately and they had it individually. Yes. A fire on each That's one. That's yes. good. 
but it affect them corporately. Yes. I want to tell you, if we can all have the fire of the Holy Ghost and each of us come into meeting with our own yes. fire and we bring all that fire together, we'll have a great, huge fire. That's what it takes to have the church. We each have to have an experience yes. with God yes. that is real, that you're not Amen. a drain, but yes. you're a hell, right. that you can add to the fire of God. If there's anything we need today is fire. My heart was grieved yesterday. I've been starting to see him a little bit. The Hebrew Israelites in the city center. I said, oh God, how do we defeat this thing? And the Muslims were set up on the other side. I said, oh God. And the answer came back. Fire. Fire. The church does not move with fire. It's dead in the waters. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. It's Amen. dead in the waters. These people have all kinds of false fire. Mm -hmm. All kinds of fire out there. But God's true fire. Yeah. Oh, Amen. That thou would rend the heavens yes. and come down. Amen. That the mountains might flow down yes. at thy Amen. presence. Oh, that God would come down and, yes. and baptize us deeply yes. in the Holy Ghost. That, yes. that we would go deeper in God than we've ever gone before. Yes. We need God first. We need God to descend upon us. And allow God to work in our lives the way God wants to work in our lives. Amen. Oh, that He would descend on us. Yes, Lord. Amen. And I remember, and after the the the, the apostles and and the disciples were, were were shut down by the Pharisees around Acts chapter four, I believe it was or five, and they all gathered together and and they prayed in the Holy Ghost, and God gave them great power, and they went around doing amazing things and became great witnesses for God, and were able to preach the resurrection of Jesus Christ in power. We need a demonstration Amen. of spirit and Amen. power. We don't need the wisdom of right. man. We don't need a, all that. We need the power of God. With the power of God, we can yes. do great things. Amen. 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 Oh, yes. We can do great things. Yes. How useless, useless is right words. Without the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and the fire of God backing it up. Amen. Yes. Right words are meaningless. Amen. Amen. They bounce off of people, but we need something that sears the word of God into them. That's good. Amen. Oh yes. And that's gonna take the Holy Ghost. I think of Jesus. Let's turn to Luke chapter twelve. Chapter 12, verse 49. I am come to send fire on earth. And what will I be if it already be kindled? But I have a baptism to be baptized with. And how I am straightened till it be accomplished. Jesus Christ says, I am come to send fire on the yes. earth. Yes, sir. And what will I if it already be kindled? But in order to make this a flaming fire, I have a baptism to do. And I am straightened. I'm, I'm, I'm going to head towards this. The baptism was the cross. The baptism, he had a, a fiery fight to go through himself. Yes. And, and he says, but I have a baptism to go through. And when I come out on the other side of that resurrection day, 
and I ascend to, to my Father in heaven unto yes. the right hand of God, yes. I'm going to cast fire on the earth yes. and my people will have oh the God. fire of Amen. God. I've kindled a fire, but yes. a kindle is good. But we need to see the full fruitation of what Christ has manifested for us in our day. It's wonderful it happened in the morning time. It's yes. wonderful Amen. it happened at various other times. But oh, I read a book when the fire fell. But I, I don't want to read books about it. I don't want to read stories about it. I want to be in the fire. I want to yes. see the glory Amen. of God. Yes. I want to be in the presence of God. I want to yes. pay the price for the fire. If he, he, is, he was straightened till he was baptized. One time he asked the apostles, uh, they said, can we sit on your right hand and the left hand? And he says, can you drink of the cup that I will drink of? And, and God wants us uh, yes. uh, to Amen. be baptized with the baptism that he was baptized with. And that is the full surrender of our lives to God. God, that God would come in and make us part of Him. Yes. Amen. Yes. We got so much powerlessness. Yes. All around us. Yes. Little children, young people wavering. They don't see the power. The Holy Ghost fire will conquer the world. I want a kindling, Lord. Put a kindling in me. Amen. And help me to fan it. Yes. Amen. Help the Holy Ghost to fan that kindling. Yes. The fanning of the Holy Ghost will, 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 will destroy the chaff, but it will also start a fire. Amen. Oh, God, blow on me. God, send Amen. your Holy Amen. Ghost fire. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. This is what we're going to need. This is the remedy, the purifying fire of God. Yes. Christ was determined that we would have this Holy Ghost fire. The great, a, the great I am in the burning bush invites us into the fire. Invites us into a closeness with Him. Amen. I indeed baptize you with water. John the Baptist did a great work. He opened the door of repentance. Mm -hmm. He had the Pharisees and the scribes on the run. Mm -hmm. He is a bold man. He spake like a bold man. Mm -hmm. He had his neck cut off because he was bold enough to tell the king, you have the wrong man's wife. Mm -hmm. He feared nothing. He was honored among men, but Jesus said the least in the kingdom of God would be greater than him. Yes. Oh, brethren. And then he goes on in that, in that wonderful chapter of Matthew 3, and, and he goes on to say, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than me, whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Do you know what that means? Can we comprehend? Can we get a hold of it? means what God wants us to have? The fire of God in our soul. Oh, my. Fire is a symbol of vengeance. Fire is a symbol of purity. Yes. Fire is something that every Christian needs to have. Amen. The fire is, has a passion for the glory of God. This fire that Christ lit, He's passed on to us. And we are keepers of the fire. Yes. Amen. Amen. We are keepers of the fire. And shame on us if we're not keeping our fire. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Our fire that God yes. gave us is more valuable than anything else in the world. The fire that Christ died that we could have. I want to get a, just a little particular here. Amen. I want more fire. Amen. Yes. Yes. I don't. I don't want to labor without the Holy Ghost and fire. Amen. Amen. I, I. I don't. I don't want to do that. Let's go back to Leviticus chapter ten. I don't want to do the same thing over and over again. Right. Expecting a different end, but getting the same result. Right. I want to touch God. I, I, I want to be in the presence of God. Amen. I don't want to have dead and dry devotions and expect a lively right. experience. Amen. I don't want to live halfway and then have regrets. I don't want to end my life and my sacrifice not be perfected by God. Amen. I want to be a preacher after God's yes. heart. Amen. Preaching and warning every man that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Yes. Striving according to the working with worketh in me powerfully. I want a powerful experience with God. And, and you all need to want a powerful experience yes. with God yourself. Uh, you need something extraordinary to make it through this time. Yes. But right. we're not just trying to make it through to heaven. We're not trying to do that, saints. We have a world to win. We have a job to do. Amen. There's souls that yes. are dying Amen. all around us. And if you got to heaven, oh my, I don't want to go to heaven without the fire of God, yes. knowing I did my yes. very best on Amen. this earth. Amen. If you could offer me heaven for free, uh, I, I, I say, Lord, please help me, Lord, to know how to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, I don't believe Elijah should outdo us. I don't believe Peter and Paul should outdo us. I believe that we as the saints of God have a rich heritage that those who went before us had the Holy Ghost in fire. And why should we be any less than them? Uh, why should we fall behind their glory? They want us to have more glory than they have. Every father desires their children to have more than they have. And they want us to have more. Amen. I want us to have more. Yes. Leviticus 10 and 1. And Nadab and Abu, the sons of Aaron, took either of them of a censer and put fire therein, and put incense therein, and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. And there went out a fire from the Lord. And they devoured them, and the, they died before the Lord. They tried to light a strange fire. God sent down the fire, and they tried to light a strange fire. Yes. Now these were the hair of parents of Aaron. These, these these were the high high priests. I mean, they were, right, they were right in line to take over, but God wiped them out because they messed with strange fire. God has no respect to person. Amen. Yes. I think about all the strange fire, man-lit fire. Mm -hmm. I think about the false. I said the false because there is a true Pentecostal movement in the sense of, of the biblical understanding of it, but I, I think of the false people today because they don't see the real fire. They're trying to manufacture a fire that, that is not real. It's not has the goods. They try to do all kinds of things and yes, work brother. it up. And yes, it's not brother. pleasing to God. 
A, a true fire will make you holy. A true fire will come down from heaven. It won't be worked up in the flesh. Uh, uh, God will Amen. manifest Himself. Right. God will be orderly. God will be powerful. Yeah. God will be mighty in this fire. Uh, 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 we don't want to manufacture a fire because that's an abomination to God. Uh, yes. uh, we want the fire from God. Uh, we don't want any fire. Right. We want Amen. what God has. Uh, 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 we want God's fire. Amen. Amen. We're keepers of fire. I've known many people. I started out a long time ago. And I've seen young men and young ministers that I started out with full of the Holy Ghost and fire. And they allowed fire to be lost. I remember their holy conversations and how they talked one to another and the enthusiasm they had as young men and, and, and how they preached and how they lived. And, and, and even some of them now professing, but they don't have that fire. They don't have that moving of God they once had. It, it's, it's, it, it's not about the things of God anymore. It's not about conversations about God. It's about jobs and about this and that, but hardly any about the Scriptures. Hardly anyone saying... Oh, let me tell you about the Scriptures. I, I, I remember when people would pray through. and When I was a young man, we used to fast three days in a row. And, and I'm not asking you to do that, but we'd do that anytime someone was sick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Holy conversation. Yes. Lost. Mm -hmm. Amen. We can't have dull services, dull preaching, Amen. dull living. Amen. We just can't allow it. That's right. We just can't have it. We, we nothing extraordinary. We need extraordinary things happening. Amen. We need extraordinary. We, we, we need someone getting getting up and telling us about how their prayer life and how God came down and blessed yes, them in their prayer life and, and oh I was in the presence of God and and God spoke to my soul and I, I've been blessed ever since and and I went running around the house and praising God and and giving Him glory. Amen. We don't want to get into a form of godliness and not having the power thereof. What, what is a form? Uh, 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 it, it's something that you used to have. Yes. They, got, they dig up bones of animals, uh, yes. old animals, and, and, and then they know what the animal looked like. But that's not has no life in it. I do not want a form of God. I have not Amen. gone this far in life to end up with a form, yes. to end up without a real God in my soul. I want to meet yes. God as a keeper of the fire, yes. as one who kept the fire alive in my soul. Amen. We, we want those who are able to go to heaven and bring the fire down. Brethren, when was the last yes. time you went Amen. to heaven and brought the fire down? Uh, whether it was to your children or a brother or in, uh, in a testimony or in a message. Uh, we right. need brethren who know how to go to heaven. Yes. And I don't want earthly fire. I want the fire that comes out of heaven. Yes. We need brethren who know how to go to heaven and bring the fire down. Oh, yes. yes. I told you we're keepers of fires. How many times have souls lost the fire of God? Yes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So sad. The fire is an indication of where you're at with God. Look at one last scripture. First Thessalonians 5 and 19. Quench the spirit. 
quench means to put out the fire. By not obeying the checks or the promptings of God. When you're living with close to God, He's going to check you. A check is when He says, now stop. Don't do that. Stop where you're at. You're under arrest. If you go farther, you're going to start losing the glory of God out of your soul. Stop. Many people go right over the checks of God. You go over the checks of God enough, you don't even recognize them anymore. Oh, God, help us. Yes. And other times is the promptings of God. God's trying to prompt you to do something. God says, go and pray. Go pray. You quench the Spirit by not going. Go, go, go apologize. Go throw your phone in the river. Go testify to that person. Go to street meeting. Go out on the street. Set up the table. Do this. Be kind to her. Uh, make them a cake. Make them cookies. Be nice. Call them. Yes. Say a nice word in season. Yes. Yes, Lord. But if you don't obey the Spirit, you quench this fire and you're a keeper of fire. I want to tell you, your fire is valuable. Your fire is important. You lose the fire of God out of your soul and you're in trouble. I want to say that you can also increase the fire in your soul. And you ought to be having a burden, Lord. Help me to be more fiery than ever before. And how do I become more fiery? Obey the checks of the Spirit. Obey the promptings of the Spirit. Some will never have the fire because they're afraid of what people think about them. Right. Don't tell me you don't have time for devotion. You have time to do whatever you like to do. I, I'm not talking about this old 10 minute devotion and I'm closed my Bible and I'm done and I don't feel any different than when I started. And I understand there's times we're not going to have all these feelings. I understand that. But our, every time we enter our devotion is, Lord, I want contact with you. I, I, I want to touch you. I want to touch heaven. That's right. You have more, no more of the grace of God in your soul than you want. You're a spiritual right now as you want to be. Amen. God's not putting no hindering blocks on no one. I've said no one to be deeply spiritual. God is no respecter of persons. He wants us all to be deeply spiritual. I think of that. My wife would bring on Brother Abraham's message or Bible study about diligence was the first word. Remember he gave that? If we're not diligent, we yes. can't have any of those other yes. things that come Amen. after that he said. Yes. And then he wraps it up and says, be diligent to give. Yes. Yes. We're about our king's business, and the king's business requires haste. We're not living for this life. Did you know that? Amen. We're not living to, to settle Amen. in and be comfortable. We're not living to live a life of ease. Matter of fact, the more, maybe, uh, the more we suffer, probably a little better off we'd be. Yes. The more hardship we go through, yes. the more we be. When our flesh starts crying, just say, Oh, flesh, be quiet. I have a greater thing to do than to pay attention to you. Amen. God's not interested in the great work you're doing, but God's interested in what's motivating you to do that work. God is interested in what's motivating you to do what you do. God's not interested in your great work. But if you can be uh, and, and do a little thing right, yes. oh, yes, bless God. Yes, I, think of, I think of the prophet Elijah. He never wrote a book. He never led a great army. He was never a king. But he is written in the book as one of the greatest prophets that ever lived. He didn't, have, he didn't do a whole lot of things. But he was faithful with what he had and what he did. Amen. Fire can be quenched. Not only by pouring water on it, but by heaping earth. 
upon an earthly and worldly thinking, mm -hmm. worldly music, worldly yes, videos, sir. worldly. Yes, sir. Worldly, world. How am I doing? What world? Yes. You, 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 you throw some earth on a fire, it will go out. Amen. Earthly and devilish. Too much in this world. Not enough heavenly mindedness. Not, not enough understanding. We're not going to be here very long. And what we have to do is going to take all the strength we have. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's right. Fire can go out by withholding fuel from it. What's the fuel? Lack of prayer. Mm -hmm. The Lord's been dealing with me about this lately. Praising God fervently. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Praising God fervently. Mm -hmm. We, oh God, help me to be more fervent in yes, my praise. Yes, yes, amen. Mm -hmm. I don't want to quench the spirit. Right. Right. Fervent in prayer. Yes, Lord. Did you ever see our hair of a father pleading before uh, for a son, pleading for a father in the court? That the judge has a choice of executing him, and the father and the son gets up, or one of them gets up to plead for the life of the other? Well, how would you plead? If you had to plead the life for your son or your wife or your daughter. But why do we come to God? How do we come to God? Sometimes a fire needs a stirring up. Sometimes the logs are just sitting there and the fire just needs someone to put a stick in there and stir it up. Yes, yes sir. Don't neglect to stir up the gifts that are in you. Yes. Stir yourself up. Yes. yes. Do something. Amen. Do something. Stir yourself up. Yes. Do something for someone else besides yourself. Right. Do yes. something where you don't get any benefit out of it at all. Unknown, unseen. Do something where no one knows about it but you and God. Because you want God. You, you, you want to stir up what's in you. You want to stir up the fire that's in you. Yes. Stir it up. Amen. Amen. And I want to, I want to, I want to close with this. The reason... Young people are having problems with phones mm -hmm. and other things. It's because that's the best they have. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes, brother. yes, yes, sir. But if you can put the fire of God in their hands, mm -hmm. and that becomes the best they have. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. You can holler all you want and hoot about telling them to stop doing this and stop doing that, but when you put the fire of God down in their souls, right. yes. that all becomes nothing. Looking at videos and YouTube right. and Facebook yes. And, yes. and spending hours and hours in garbage. Why? Because the fire of God is what's important. Yes. Yes. And the Amen. fire of God, YouTube and the phone and Edify and all of that doesn't stand a chance between it and God and the Amen. glory that yes. you have Amen. from beginning to the presence That's of God. God doesn't even compare to those things. Uh, 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 oh, brethren, brethren, don't be tripped out by little things uh, uh, that will pull you away from God. Uh, 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 be focused on God. Don't get caught up into a lot of things, unnecessary things. Amen. It's like trading dirt for gold. Yes. Trading the fire of God for donuts. Take away the fake and get the real. Amen. And never go back to the fake again. Yes. Yes. Amen. We're keepers of the fire. Amen. If the fire is kindled in you, do a work. 
where you can build up the fire in your soul. Amen. And then with this poem, that this song that I started with, O thou that camest from above, the pure celestial fire to impart, kindle a flame of sacred love on the mean altar of my heart. Let this be your burden, O oh God. I want your fire more than I want anything else. I want your presence more than anything else. There let it to the glory burn with an inextinguishable blaze and trembling to its source return in humble love and fervent praise. Jesus, confirm my heart's desire to work and speak and think for thee. Still, let, this is, this is my burden, let me guard the holy fire and stir up thy gift in me. And if I do that, ready for all thy perfect will, my acts of faith and love repeat till death then endless mercy seal and make the sacrifice complete. If I said anything, help us to be keepers mm -hmm. Amen. of the fire. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. You have a little kindling. I haven't been doing so good at this. I have a little kindling. Yes. Stir it. Mm -hmm. Move it. Mm -hmm. Fan it. Let the Holy Ghost take you away. Become a flame. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. A fire. Before the Lord. Yes. Amen. No higher calling. Amen. No greater duty. I do not want to be Christian, professed Christian, without fire. Amen. Yes. Amen. It will burn away all your little troubles. All those little toys you're holding on to. All your doubts and fears. The fire of God. The fire of God is for me, it's for you. It's not a respect for a person. Amen have to desire the fire. Yeah. Yeah.